One other thing I wanted to talk about, I, we've mentioned this, but about you know, the toxicity or the lack of it. Can you, uh, you know, just walk me through that? You know, um, the uh, safety profile uh, of J147? Yeah, so there's, there's a whole section in the paper on the pharmacology, safety, toxicology that we've gathered to date. And in the search for the molecular target of J147, we've screened hundreds of receptors, kinases, um, things that maybe we think could be the target. But in, in doing that, we've ruled out so many off-target effects. Uh, and off-target effects mean side effects. Um, so now we know many things that J147 does not target. So we've ruled out. Okay. So this, usually the way the pharmaceutical world works is the other way around. So initially they will identify, they will pick a target, they will identify a drug that interacts with that target, then they will go through and, and they have to test it in animal models, and then they go through and they want to screen for off-target effects. And so, um, so they use these screening uh, paradigms where you send a, the drug off to a company and they screen for like all protein kinases, all phosphatase, all these different things. And they try to make sure that the, their drug which they've discovered on the basis of single target doesn't affect any of these other targets because if they do then that predicts some possible toxicology. So there are actually uh, computer programs and, and, and uh, drug discovery uh, packages that uh, these CROs that do this type of stuff sell but to, to look for off-target effects and we essentially run our compound to the majority of these things that are out there and it's it's quite clean and people have told me that are in these companies this is the, one of the cleanest compounds they've ever seen and in fact we've been criticized because people don't believe this drug could work and be so non-toxic and all these other assays we've actually had pharmaceutical people tell us that you know that this the, this thing can't be real because it doesn't have any of these target effects. If you can believe that, but this we were actually there have been, and I've got emails from people, some foundation who told me they weren't interested in this drug because it was too. They didn't, you know, you that that if there's that all drugs just, have to have side effects if they right. work, yeah. And so it may have, but we don't know what they are at the present time. And and this, if you look at, I mean, the, what Marguerite mentioned, this the toxic, the acute toxicity. I mean, this thing's uh, hundreds of times less toxic than Aricept in the acute tox studies. And so, but you don't know until you get it through these long-term animal studies, which is required by the FDA. This is what the, in addition, the IND. Additional models. Yeah, so we, we fed it to the mice um, for anything from weeks to, to a year, and, and they're, they're fine. There's no, no tox, toxicity issues at all.